way are we going? Okay. Hello, my name is Matthew Harper. I'm a student at Liberty University and I'm here to give you an informative speech on high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. Um, I've, ha I've been a nurse uh, for close to 10 years and uh, I have a unique perspective as a hospice nurse. Uh, I get to go and uh, speak with people and take care of people that have had uh, extensive disease and they're at, at unfortunately the end of their life. Um, but I get to see how different diseases affect uh, many people and their health conditions. Um, the nature of hospice is end of life care within six months or less. Um, this allows me to to see those uh, unique conditions that I spoke of before. Um, I've seen countless people that have been incapacitated by high blood pressure and uh, or hypertension related illness. Um, I've also recently completed a class in pathophysiology which is the study of the disease process and in that study um, we've discussed and, and uh, gone over hypertension and high blood pressure. They're essentially the same thing, just uh, hypertension is the medical term for high blood pressure. Um, and also I've been practicing, like I said, over 10 years. Got to see this uh, disease in many different settings. Um, high blood pressure is devastating to many folks and uh, it can be prevented with diligent care. During the next few minutes I'll tell you about high blood pressure uh, by explaining how the medical field defines high blood pressure, also by explaining the cause of high blood pressure and the effects and uh, as well as the treatment. High blood pressure is also known as hypertension as I've uh, formally stated and is defined in pathophysiology as the consistent elevation of systemic arterial blood pressure. That means that when your heart pumps, the blood vessels expand and then as the heart relaxes, the blood vessels contract. There are two important measurements in blood pressure. The top number, which is the systolic, that's the measurement of the expanded blood vessel. And the diastolic, which is the bottom number, and that is the relaxation of the blood vessel. That's the bottom reading. Um, according to the uh, Seventh Joint National Committee report, high blood pressure is defined as a sustained systolic or top number reading of 140 millimeters of mercury uh, or greater and the diastolic or bottom number reading of 90 millimeters of mercury or greater. A normal blood pressure reading is 120 over 80. So a high number, 140 over 90, anything that's close to that range is considered high blood pressure or hypertension. Now there are three stages in hypertension, pre-hypertension, stage one, and then stage two. Um, pre-hypertension is when the systolic or top number ranges between 120 and 139, and diastolic ranges between 80 and 89. Stage one is when the range is between 140 and 159, that's the top number, and the diastolic range is between 90 and 99. Now stage two is when the systolic ranges between 160 and above, and then the diastolic range is 100 and above. The primary cause of high blood pressure is unknown. There are, however, several contributing factors to high blood pressure. Uh, one of them is a family history of high blood pressure. Um, advanced age is another. Um, gender makes a difference. Men are usually more uh, uh, appropriate or more uh, susceptible to high blood pressure. And also women over the age of 55. It has to do with menopause. Um, also African Americans, diabetics, smokers, and uh, obesity is another cause. Um, there are also uh, numerous dietary causes of high blood pressure, such as high sodium intake, heavy alcohol consumption, uh, low dietary intake of potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Those are all the, uh, the known 
contributing factors, although there are no, there's no cause that's evident. Um, uncontrolled hypertension may eventually lead to other serious conditions. Uh, coronary artery disease, which is a damaging of the blood vessels that supply the heart. A stroke, which is a blockage or a bursting of the blood vessels in the brain. It's very serious. Uh, kidney disease related to high blood pressure is also uh, an issue. And uh, congestive heart failure, that's another one. And that's when the heart gets too weak uh, to pump blood adequately to the rest of the body. And all those are a, uh, causes of high blood pressure. Or actually not causes, but in relation to chronic high blood pressure. Um, treatment of high blood pressure depends on the physician and may include uh, changing one's diet. Um, although it seems simple, it is hard to change one's diet. Low sodium diet is a recommendation for high blood pressure clients. And uh, very bland food. It's hard to get off the salt. Also exercising. That's also good to uh, lower the blood pressure. Smoking cessation classes, which help uh, to stop the uh, smoking habit. Uh, weight loss. Weight loss is another treatment. And uh, medications, if necessary. Your doctor will have to determine which medications are appropriate. There are several different classes of medications that lower the blood pressure um, depending on the system in your body that is, has gone awry. Um, as you can see, high blood pressure is a serious, serious health condition. Um, high blood pressure uh, can be devastating, but easily manageable. If left untreated, uh, you know, once again, it could cause stroke, could cause heart failure, um, or other serious illness. Uh, once again, high blood pressure is an elevated blood pressure of above 180. There's uh, three stages pre hypertension, stage one and stage two, depending on your numbers. Although the cause is unknown, there are those several contributing factors and they can cause other health conditions, but it is treatable. High blood pressure has taken many healthy days from people um, and it's important to know where you stand as far as your blood pressure readings. It's a vital aspect of your health. So I would just like to say thank you and Good health to all.